this is the back side of the lift as you can see I uh, when I come up on the left I get the boat pretty far up onto the lift so that everything is under the roof here and uh, I can actually if I want to work on the engine I can just sit on the two rear uh, or on the back side of these bunks here if I wanted to I could put a board across it and turn the whole thing into a seat um, and I do plan to put a hydrofoil on the engine here soon. I meant to do that earlier in the year and I just never did it. So uh, I guess here in the off season I'll do it. And because I have so much room back there I'll just put a little board across the end of those two bunks and uh, use the bunks as a seat or turn it into a little bench and I can put the hydrofoil on without falling into the water. As you can see the left is starting to sink now. We're down to about five and a half feet of water beneath my uh, floating boat lift here and it needs at least three feet before you can use it. So I had to do this today or if I didn't do it here within the next probably two weeks there wouldn't be enough water and then I would have to run a garden hose out here to do the winterization which is no big deal but much easier to just do it while it's in the, in the lake. Okay, here we go.